This place is just absolutely freaking incredible, guys. I am like, I am taken aback. I am lost for words. We were walking down the one more little path on our way out that we didn't go down. And there's not really anything down here other than two adorable little kitties that ran into a hole in the wall. And they are just so darn cute. But they don't want no loving. They just, they just want to live in their little hole. They're so adorable down there though. That is a cool combination of Egyptian and Roman there. And we have arrived at the ancient city of Smyrna. I'm probably pronouncing that one wrong, but it's a weird word for my English mouth. S-M-Y-A-R-N-A, -A, Smyrna. And you got some puppies up here to greet you right when you come hey. in. Hey, pup, pup. Oh, yes. I'll give you all the lovings you want. This other one's up here looking like, what the fuck? Why is she getting petted? Oh, you so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. You got some rough fur to you though. Good girl. You're handsome too. I see your little tail wagon. Do you want the petsis? Do you want the petsis? Do you want the petsis? You do. Aww. So I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was a full city, but everything I'm seeing is just saying Smyrna Agora. The Agora of Smyrna was built on the slope between Kadefkali, the Acropolis of the ancient city, and Kamareta, which was once the port of the ancient city. So I guess that this is uh, mostly Agora here, uh, which I like that in keeping of the Agora traditions. Good boy. They, uh, there was actually a bunch of locals lining the street all along leading up to this uh with just i guess their old clothes and other wares like yard sale like just out on the street so they're keeping it up with the traditions of the agora here and this is a smack dab in the middle of this city i mean just like like rome or athens or any of those places i mean this is in the middle of the city it's uh, kind of crazy to me that this is just so smack dab in the middle of a still used active modern city. Unlike a lot of the other ones which were way out of the way so over time they became unused. Here because of its location it is pretty much right on the sea or very 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 close to it. It's continually been used so it's kind of amazing to me that this much still remains whereas what was the uh, cities you see out of the way are more ruined than this and I just wouldn't have expected that being that this has been continually lived in and built up and around this is freaking stunning I have never seen an archway built up like this oh man and it's is gushing from here It's a very clear, cold. Okay, this this place is freaking awesome. This place is just absolutely freaking incredible, guys. I am like, I am taken aback. I am lost for words. The pictures I saw that caused me to make sure this was a must see for us does not do it justice so i'm sure this video doesn't even do it justice my mind is just blown right now archway after archway after archway the water's still flowing through all the channels here it's beyond incredible I just can't understand how this isn't like as like listed as one of those like must see sites. Like I in all honesty, I mean maybe it's because Ephesus is so talked about and known. This is blowing my mind way more than Ephesus did. I mean the the intact archway after archway after archway and they're just fucking beautiful with the pillars up there still standing, lining the way. So we haven't even went up there. This is still the basement area.
so this place, kind of like the last one we went to, except for even more so, is smack dab in route if you're driving between Istanbul and Ephesus. So if you, oh my God. Oh, this is, this is insane. This is smack dab in route. Don't even have to detour. You're probably going to be passing through this city anyways. Ignore the alarm, the sirens in the background. And if you are doing that drive, you have to freaking stop at this place because it's it's mind blow, mind blowingly beautiful. I have never seen an archway system like that. And now, they wouldn't have been like that back in the ancient times. Like, you wouldn't be able to come up here and just look down the archways. As this would have all been a flat uh, surface, um, extending the Agora out that way. This being the Agora. The massive freaking Agora. But the roof of the basement area is gone now. So you just have these beautifully exposed arches. This is just yet another one of those places that it's it's depressing how few people are actually here. Now there are more people than at the last site, which had no one other than, I didn't put this on a video, one group who did show up at the end when we were first leaving and they literally stood there, talked about the statue that was at site, at the site, which wasn't even the original statue. The original statue was actually in the uh, museum. Uh, and then they left. They didn't walk up and look at any of the ruins there, any of the mosaics, the bath, nothing. They stood at a statue, talked and left. I, it blew our minds. Like, I don't even understand why you're going to a place if that's all you're gonna do. Thankfully, this place does have more people coming to it, but not enough. Not enough for how absolutely incredible this place is. I think I'm gonna have to be uh, asking my sister. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go all vain and ask my sister to do some Instagram shots of me. Like this girl is back here because it's just too incredible here. And then they have this archway up here that I'm walking up on, which has been heavily reassembled, and it somehow doesn't look as beautiful. All these puzzle pieces would have been set up surrounding this agora. We just had to do our little photo shoot of around the uh, around the, the good luck penises or the fertility ones that they would put out in front of their houses and i've never seen a place that actually just put them all together on on display like that but this place does a very good job with all of its uh, its puzzle piece layout so you keep them all together and organized like these are all the same you got your bases here you got the tops back there they did a very good and tasteful job here which seems to be a standard in uh in Turkey. Oh, all the graves. Look at these. We are uh, strange and we tend to love going through graveyards and different places. Are you talking about those red ones with the yellow yeah. asses? That is a hornet uh, that will definitely probably really fuck you up. There's the color is yeah, so Yeah, they're gorgeous, pretty. but I mean that's a that's a, about an inch long hornet or wasp there. That is so pretty. I am curious as to what kind of a wasp that is. I want to look it up. Oh, that's a, I believe, a wedding passing by. They do that. They uh, do the honk, 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 just to let everybody know how bad of a decision they just made. But I'm loving this, these pillars like this. Uh, they've been laying here for so long. The grass and the other uh, weeds and everything are just kind of starting to devour them. But it's, it is quite beautiful. I got them hornets buzzing around here. I'm really hoping none of them sting me. But uh, unless there is hidden areas to the site that we aren't seeing, it is not as large as the last one, or at least it's not as spread out as the last one. So time-wise, it doesn't take as long to go through it. Uh, at least as of yet, I, I could be completely wrong. But uh, it is 
just beautiful and you definitely want to give yourself some time to admire the archways and everything down there because it I, I've never seen anything like that and all the Instagram models up over there in front of the pillar but my sister had pointed out like they're just angling it in a way where this big orange building back there is right behind them so it's not even like that great of a shot that's one of those situations you actually do want a really high selfie stick because then you could do your shots over there or have someone do your shots for you where it's overhead looking downward uh, with the archways underneath and everything. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to keep saying that because it's beautiful. It's all beautiful here. I love when I go to push record and I actually turn off the recording and I wonder how long has this actually been recording? So that'll be some fun footage to review. I'm over here and my iron is a little cute. Down here, chilling out in front of this ruin, not giving an F about no people. Oh, girl, oh, yes, you are, you cute thing. I love all the ruin kitties. I'm pretty sure we have seen the whole of the site. If I, we haven't, then there will be more coming up right after this. But if we have, then uh, all I can say is you've got to come here, it's absolutely freaking incredible and uh we're heading on to our hotel in pergamon probably saying that wrong just like all these other sites and uh we aren't seeing the ancient city there until tomorrow so that we have more time because it's a few hour drive from here so uh see you guys at the hotel There's a bunch of you. Oh Do my god. Thing. You guys are freaking adorable. Hi. Why? Why are you going away? How many of you are there back in there? My little house. Come inside, meet the missus. We were walking down the one more little path on our way out that we didn't go down. And there's not really anything down here other than two adorable little kitties. They ran into a hole in the wall and they are just so darn cute. But they don't want no loving. They just they just want to live in their little hole. They're so adorable down there though. You guys are so cute. So now we're heading out and see you guys at our hotel in Pergamon. You two are adorable. You're adorable. We have arrived at a unexpected stop with the call to prayer going on in the background back there this gigantic building behind me was a temple built to Egyptian gods in the second century I think is what he said and then later converted to a church and then later converted to a mosque in the middle of the city we're gonna be staying the night in so I think we're about to head on in and I'll show you guys a little bit of it in there. He said it was a turned church in around the fifth century and then mosque many a centuries after that. This was one of those few sites that I did not actually put on our itinerary. But I am glad we are stopping here. Is it data ISIS up there? Yeah. You didn't know it was ISIS? I mean, I saw it on the sign, but it said multiple gods, so I didn't know who to expect coming in. One of my first cats was named Isis. That is a cool combination of Egyptian and Roman there. Because it definitely doesn't look like one of the straight up Egyptian Isis statues you'd see. And especially with the way the robes and everything are done. It's definitely more of like a lion head than you typically see on Isis statues. But it's beautiful with the two, two types of marble. You got the white and the black marble. I'd be happy with that out front of my house. I am sad there ain't no ruined kitties here laying down at Isis's feet. That would be 
a good shot. They have plenty of space up there on her little pedestal. This is a mildly dangerous site to walk around because a lot of times they have these kind of things that's roped off. But there are just these cracks and crevices that you could very easily stumble on into if you're selfie in and not taking and not paying attention to where you're going. So pay attention to where you're going and don't fall in a hole like I did in a in Perga. Like I had pointed out in uh, our previous video in uh, Ephesus, I'm, uh, I'm not a huge fan of red brick, but the grand size of this place is uh, quite impressive. I wonder how high the actual ceiling would have been. I'm assuming there was, it was a curvature of ceiling. So who knows if it actually was like all the way up there. It was probably multiple floors. Yeah, you could just stumble right off of here if you're not paying attention. You at least cover up these drop down holes. But... Just wandering over here. It's a gate. And then I'll wander back in this nook so that I've at least checked out every area. Just a collection of broken marble there and uh, that's a stairway into a wall right there so that's the end of the road so we're uh, heading to our hotel here and uh he said it's only about five or so minutes away so i'll see you guys at the hotel and then we might wander on the market or something hey little thing how are you doing can i pet you ah oh, stretchy stretchy why ain't you up under your goddess statue? Mm, tiny little thing you are. We have arrived at our hotel. Right here. We're here for one night. And then we're going to see the ancient city tomorrow. Before heading up to our hotel up by Troy. Okay, let's give you guys the little room tour. Walking on it. Got some nice uh, 70s style uh, bed spread here. But I love the walls. Very little nice cave-like. Oh, nice bathroom. I like this. I, I love the caves. I am happy. <gasps> it's a nice. So uh, we're checked in, we're getting our bags in here, and then I think we're gonna go wander the streets a little bit. Me, mom, and I are uh, wandering out of our hotel to wander the streets a little bit and uh, just check out this little town. Our, uh, our hotel is a nice little quaint, like boutique-like hotel. I don't think the rooms there are all that expensive. Which way you wanna go, mom? Uh, my sister said it reminded her of like a little boutique hostel and uh, I kind of agree with it but the rooms are pretty damn nice and uh, I would definitely recommend it. Ignore Google's star rating for the hotel. Uh, they rate it as a one star hotel and there is no fucking way that's a one star hotel considering that a, like a one star hotel is like a roach and rat infested hotel. And uh, that one is pretty damn nice. <laughs> My mom is uh, taking pictures of the locals down here. This is a, a quaint little town. I like it. It's not loud, not noisy. And just like everywhere we've been in Turkey, it feels so freaking safe. Like, I don't know what America is feeding, like what bullshit America is feeding everybody about Turkey. Cause you tell anybody you're going to Turkey and they're just like, oh, is that safe? Be safe over there. It's like, man guys, it is safe. You do not have to be afraid of this beautiful freaking country. Look at this. Look at this. It's a gorgeous. 60 would be like a little, a little over three bucks. 
So it's a little over three dollars for my mom to get her two packs of cancer. But uh, just that shop, just like every single one we have seen since I think it was Cappadocia, we uh, we got these uh, cone-shaped, like bugle-shaped chips that were freaking amazing. Like the best cheese flavor I have ever tasted on a chip. And we have been unable to find them again at any other gas station or shop that we have stopped at. <laughs> That's our, uh, our driver over there. He is the nicest driver we have ever had in any country. Oh, look at the kitty cat. Hey, kitty. Wow, you ran right over. You're so little. You're so little. Oh. so cute. Look at these three adorable purring little kitties. They're so cute. And so soft. Hey, look at the camera. I want to grab them some food while I'm wandering around. I feel like they could use it a wee more than some of these others that we've seen around. Turkey really, really takes care of their strays here. It's it's awesome how healthy they all are though. Even those guys, like they aren't like starving. They're just thinner than some of the others we've seen. Oh, that sun's so bright. Get out again. Oh, kitty kitty. All the kitties on the streets here are super friendly. I haven't encountered a mean one yet in this city. Oh, look at the pupper doggers. Hey, pup. Hey, pup. Can I scratch her? Can I give you a scratcher? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey. Hey, pupper. Can I give you a scratcher? Good oh, boy. Good oh, boy. They got the cones. Well, you know what, while I have this red basilica back behind us, which we visited just before checking in our hotel, this is actually right down the street from our hotel, I feel like this is a good time to sign off. So if you guys have watched all of this and you haven't already, hit the like button down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Ancient Ruins. Oh, that's that peanut butter like stuff that we oh, yeah. had at the monster there. Why did they fix all of you but they let the cats go? Hey, pretty. you're pretty. You're pretty. Go pup. I ain't got no food. I ain't got no food. <laughs> Friendly. Play, play, play. Yet again, we did a little bit of snack shopping to try a few new things. And a bag, which is with like two, two bags of chips, some, uh, a couple drinks, and these little, like, moon pie-like things that my sister likes. This was about three dollars and fifty cents one of these bags of chips back home would have been that much so i'm just kidding, constantly blown away by the prices here in this country definitely a country you can uh, backpack cheap in i love how much the cats seem to love the fish markets here because the same it, it was the same in the last city we stayed at look at all these cats outside of the fish market. Just all out chasing the dude with his fish parts. <laughs> I'm sure there's even more back down that alleyway. <laughs> yeah, if he went and dumped it out back there and all the cats are going to eat. They know where the food is.
as with usual on my vlog, I ain't food vlogging it, so I'm not gonna show you me show you uh, me shoving my food in the, my face. But I will say, as of now, my favorite salad we've had because I hate tomatoes, and they've served all salads with tomatoes. And this is like straight up vinegar, and I love it. This is some of the better of this relish that we've had since Cappadocia. Mom's lentil soup is okay, but I'm not a huge fan of soup. Next time I think we're gonna, I'm talking her into trying to try for the head soup. soup. And uh, I ordered myself one of the uh, minced meat and cheese pitas. So uh, I'll let you guys know how it is afterwards and uh, show you guys the name of this uh, restaurant. That was the uh, name of the place we just got our dinner. It's a, uh, basically one block away like one street down and to the left of the uh, red basilica here and that, that meal which was a small meal was five dollars i'm not even joking five u.s dollars for that pita my mom's soup our drinks everything like it that's just it blows my mind and it was pretty damn good we'll see how it settles tomorrow but I think it was all, I think it was a thumbs up. So I'd say give that place a try and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more ruins. Like, comment, subscribe, and see ya. Ah, you're sideways, right? Assuming we're done, we're about <laughs> to head on to uh, our hotel up by uh, Pergamon. I gotta go away because my mom is talking really loudly even though I'm trying to vlog. So I gotta come over here and be vain and be all on me lonesome.